بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I am Dr. عبد الرحيم سيد إبراهيم uh, Pharmacognosy Department uh, to give a lecture to uh, clinical pharmacy students third level uh, in a previous uh, quality control course in a previous lecture actually I made a presentation about introduction uh, of herbal uh, medicine as a prelude for this quality control uh, of this quality control uh, topics uh, this presentation was about 36 PowerPoint slides the uh, students are entitled to study this first lecture I'm not making a presentation for this past lecture I'll start now to talk about quality control topics of the course um, I tried actually to reduce the remaining amount uh, so that it is not very uh, overwhelming for uh, our uh, students <coughs> the first lecture uh, the first topic talk about uh, the steps that are taken to inspect the imported uh, medicinal plant and the in, in, in medicinal or herbal drugs and the medicinal plant or wholesale trade uh, trade wholesale means uh, uh, the steps are taken to uh, inspect the convenience of these imported uh, herbal drugs include First, visual examination of the uh, herbal drug uh, to check the uh, check the weight of the herbal drug consisting ma with the label. Uh, uh, also to <coughs> Uh, inspect or detect the presence of foreign matter such as uh, insects or mouths for it and also to uh, uh, check the presence of any damage uh, during transport the second step is to analyze samples by the use of the available uh, techniques such as microscopic microscopic and phytochemical methods the third is to make testing for bacterial contamination and radioactive residues uh, if uh, the uh, drug passes all this, these requirements released for uh, commercial use otherwise um, for example we have excessive humidity we dry further the uh, drug also if uh, the drug content uh, or the ash content is high in this case we make garbling to reduce this uh, high uh, ash content. The assay of active constituents is carried out and if low level of active constituents is there, in this case the drug is used for extraction purposes or standardized to the required level by mixing with drugs having higher content. In the pharmacy, the pharmacist is responsible for the herbal drugs he is uh, using. Uh, this can be performed by uh, microscopic examination, microscopic examination of the herbal drug uh, using a stereo hand lens can be applied for some uh, herbal medicines such as chamomile, linseed, and peppermint. Secondly, he can uh, measure some important key elements in the uh, in the herbal drug using uh, the uh, uh, lycobodium spore which has consistent diameter of 30 micro the third step that the pharmacist can perform in the pharmacy is to make till layer chromatography uh, and uh, this can be made possible by using the symbol uh, material that he has in the pharmacy such as for example uh, separating uh, using food jars as separating tanks uh, using the already or pre-coated uh, or pre-spread 
to learn chromatog uh, plates with a small dimension. Also, you can uh, visualize the spots of the separated uh, compounds by the use of dipping method. And not spraying, actually, spraying is not possible to perform in the pharmacy. And uh, after that, heating on a hot plate or uh, or a, he a heat gun or anything like that to, to visualize the spots. Uh, the obtained chromatograms can then be compared with the available publications which contain profiles of these herbal, cellular profiles of these herbal drugs. There are uh, some issues uh, uh, um, of uh, pop called plant drug, drug analysis which contain uh, these profiles. Quality control of herbal drugs. Uh, people actually have uh, misconceptions that the herbal drug medicines are safer than Western medicine. This is not right because there are many risks associated with the uh, use of herbal drugs. These types of adverse effects can be classified into intrinsic or plant-associated risks due to the plant act constituent, due to the larger amount of the plant. Uh, this plant, uh, the act constituent in the plant, may cause uh, serious side effects. Uh, the second category of risks are extrinsic due to um, non-plant associated compounds such as heavy metals, pesticides, microorganisms, and adulteration, uh, which can uh, happen uh, during the uh, use of the herbal drug. Some definition, definitions which the student is entitled to uh, memorize include uh, what is the meaning of quality? Quality is the status of the drug. This is determined by the identity, purity, and a say or content of the drug. The, 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 the drug is right, uh, rightly identified as a, a devoid of uh, adulteration or other uh, impurities which can pose risk for the patient and also the, the amount of active consuming business the drug is the uh, right amount. In addition to other structural, chemical, physical, or biological properties uh, uh, that are available uh, uh, to analyze the uh, herbal medicine. Quality control means processes involved in maintaining the quality and validity of manufactured product. Uh, actually, quality control should be uh, used to inspect whether a synthetic or plant uh, uh, drugs or plant origin, synthetic or uh, natural or plant uh, plants. All of them should fulfill the requirement of being efficacious and safe, and this means good quality, actually. Uh, there are problems which we encounter uh, in the quality control of uh, herbal drugs not available in uh, are not present in the quality control of uh, of synthetic drugs, such as uh, that the herbal drugs actually are mixtures or contain mixtures of many constituents. Herbal drugs are mixed or contain mixtures uh, of very complex mixtures of constituents. That's the rest. The second act consumed in most cases are not known. In most cases, the active agent responsible for the activity are not known. Uh, the selective analytical methods or even the references which can be used to analyze the plant may not be available uh, commercially. This is in addition to the variability of the plant material itself. 
this uh, this plant materials are naturally uh, variable. Uh, also, the source and the quality of the raw, uh, the raw material uh, pose or cause uh, variability. Uh, the methods of cultivation and collection and drying, all these uh, uh, also uh, may lead to variation of the herbal drug. Uh, uh, therefore, the variability in the herbal drug uh, is a problem in the quality control. This, these types of uh, problems are not present in the quality control of uh, synthetic drugs. Uh, residues in plant drugs. Uh, the plant can contain residues of the following. First, uh, microorganisms. So, uh, these include bacteria and fungi. Mouse means fungi or by heavy metals such as cadmium, lead, and uh, mercury. Uh, radioactivity also, or contamination by pesticides or plant uh, protection substances. The pesticides actually tend to be, uh, to undergo decomposition, while other residues such as heavy metals may uh, remain. Uh, bacterial contamination or bacterial count increase at the slow drying and high amount of nutrients are present. The same residue, uh, the, the same radio of residues in the herbal drugs also was, in, was encountered uh, in, the, in the food industry. It is actually more or greater problem in food sector than in the herbal drugs because the larger uh, is used in large amounts. Uh, the, the food the foods are used in large amounts or consumed in large amounts. Herbal drugs are used only in few amounts and every now and then. First type of residues: microbial contamination. The more the plant or the richer of the plant uh, material or plant part uh, and nutrients and slower in uh, drying process, the in larger the uh, microbial count. For example, the roots, rhizomes, and so on, which contain nutrients, usually contain higher uh, bacterial count than flowers uh, or leaves, for example. Uh, the bacterial count range from uh, hundred to probably hundred million per gram. Uh, it is very important to ensure that we have no pathogenic organisms and that the interior bacteria are reduced to a small amount. Uh, actually, the guidelines for the microbial or bacterial count depend on the uh, method of preparation of the herbal tea. If we use uh, methods such as infusion or decoction, in this case we allow a larger microbial count because the process of Preparation of the tea will reduce this microbial count. Okay, and then in case of maceration, for example, in this case, aerobial bacteria is allowed to be present at uh, maximum level in 10 raised to power 7 per gram, yeast and mouse 10 to 4 per gram, E. coli 10 uh, raised to power uh, or 100 per gram, uh, and tear bacteria. Uh, 10 raised to power 4 per gram and salmonella null because salmonella is pathogenic, pathogenic organism not allowed to be present in these uh, uh, natural syrups. Contamination with heavy metals uh, the most common heavy metal contaminants include lead, 
cadmium and mercury. The, with the mercury, uh, the most toxic, followed by cadmium, followed by lead. You, here you have levels of these uh, heavy metals and herbal drugs. Uh, and in the foods, actually, not herbal, in the foods. Uh, however, uh, upon preparation of this, only a very small fraction of these heavy radiators are present in herbal tea. It is actually a very, very uh, minor problem in case of uh, herbal drug compared with the food sector. Uh, how these, uh, the levels of this herb um, uh, residues uh, uh, estimated in herbal drug, this is carried out by making digestion of the uh, herbal drug using uh, a mixture of perchloric nitric acid and uh, a assay of these, element, uh, these uh, uh, heavy metals using atomic absorption spectroscopy. This is not available actually in the pharmacy, it can be run in uh, special laboratories. Contamination with radioactive substances. This was يعني, considered since Chernobyl disaster 1986 in Russia uh, or in Soviet Union at that time. Uh, this accident actually uh, posed very, very serious threat to foods and also to herbal drugs. However, uh, the, the foods are more anim, anim, amenable to radioactivity uh, or radioactive substances compared with the uh, herbal drugs. For example, milk may contain uh, 20 times more radioactivity than prepared uh, herbal drugs prepared from, uh, herbal, uh, her or drug prepared from uh, contaminated drugs. Contamination with plant protection products. These uh, are the pesticides. We are uh, uh, forced or obliged to, to use uh, these agents during the growth of the plant to uh, counter against our uh, to guard against the best, best which may harm the plant and also during the storage of the herbal drug. Uh, however, uh, the analysis of the, these plant protection agents is not easy because uh, in many countries worldwide, particularly in the third world countries, uh, they use uh, agents which are not or banned elsewhere, such as DDT, for example, not used in the Western world. However, uh, any drug imported from the the uh, African countries, for example, should be inspected for the presence of this uh, 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 risky uh, plant protection agents such as thiophosphoric acid or chlorinated hydrocarbons or carbamates, which are ban banned elsewhere. Uh, it's very, very essential to keep the limits of these insecticides within uh, or the amount of this um, within a certain limit. Uh, however, it also in the herbal drug uh, field, it involves uh, small risk. Small risk. Because a very small amount goes into our uh, infusion, for example, or 10%. This is uh, compared with the food sector, uh, probably a larger amount would be present in food than in herbal drug. Uh, the low limits of these pesticides cannot be assessed in the pharmacy. It should be analyzed using gas chromatography, if volatile, or by use of HPLC. However, cellular chromatography may be used to analyze larger amounts of these uh, contaminants. Uh, 
uh, uh, reputable her uh, herbal drug wholesalers actually analyze their uh, products using uh, appropriate in uh, an appropriate uh, laboratories. Ethylene oxide is one of the very effective insecticides and bactericides also used by fum as fumigant. However, uh, the problem of this uh, compound is that it is uh, converted to a very toxic product which is ethylene uh, chlorohydrin. Uh, the standardization of uh, herbal drug means to adjust the herbal drug preparation to define the content of constituent or group of substance with non-therapeutic activity by adding excipients or by mixing with herbal drugs or herbal drug preparations. This uh, uh, definition should be memorized by a sentence. The quality control involves three steps. First, to make proper identification of the herbal drug. Secondly, to test for the purity of the herbal drug and to confirm that it is not that does not it is not it contains no contaminants which can be both risk for the patient. Third, to assay the commands or the active consistency are responsible for the activity of the drug. This actually will ensure the safety and efficacy or the quality of the herbal drug. Identity, how we make proper identification of the herbal drug. This can be uh, made possible by my macroscopic, microscopic examination and the comparison with voucher uh, specimens uh, as reliable reference sources. However, sometimes outbreaks of disease may change the physical uh, appearance of the plant and le lead to incorrect identification. Therefore, the visual examination itself is not sufficient. The first step and making uh, identification, proper identification of the herbal drug is to make proper sampling. The sampling uh, of the, or the sample should be uh, random and representative. Uh, with large amounts of the uh, these bulky drugs, there is a certain method of sampling <coughs> described in the USCB or United States Pharmacopeia. Uh, preliminary examination of whole drugs, only uh, microscopic and sensory characters are usually sufficient uh, to identify the drug. The second uh, step to make proper identification is to make uh, to uh, 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 use quantitative microscopy to identify the plant based on uh, the number, area, or length of characteristic uh, uh, key elements per milligram uh, in, the, uh, in the herbal drug. For example, the number of starch grains, the length of the trichomes, the uh, area of some other microscopic elements. This can be made possible by the use of lycobodium spore missile. As we said before, lycobodium has sp uh, lycobodium spores con uh, contain uh, uh, has uh, certain size and present a certain number of lycobodium. Uh, also, simple measurement of sizes of tissues, cells, and cell contents can be made possible by the use of uh, IVs and stage 
micrometer also by use of camera lens and we'll explain later there are other microscopic determinations that can be uh, carried out and indicate the identity of the uh, plant material including the palisade ratio the stomatal number the stomatal index the vein inlet number and vein determination all these uh, measurements are made on the leaves of the of the plant like what a spore method uh, was first described by Wilson and uh, co-workers uh, and it was dependent about the consistent or uniform size of the recording spore about 25 micron also about in the, uh, that one milligram of lycobodium contains an average number of spores about uh, 94,000 spore per milligram. Uh, the number actually of the spores per milligram was determined by direct counting and by calculation based on specific gravity and dimensions of the spores. Uh, the amounts are made actually uh, uh, of the powder and lycobodium, and we can use this method to. Uh, to know uh, the number of particles or elements such as starch grains or boring grains also to make uh, know the area of some element or to make uh, uh, determination of the length of a, of a key element of the uh, plant material Therefore, this method can be used to determine either the number of characteristic elements such as starch grains or pollen grains or the area of a single layer of tissue or to make or determine the length of particular key element in the drug. One additional method for uh, quantitative microscopy is the use of stage and IBS micrometer. A stage micrometer is a scale uh, of one millimeter engraved on microscopic slide. And the method involves the calibration of uh, IBS micrometer with a stage micrometer. Here you can observe in this uh, figure that IBS micrometer is superimposed on portion of a stage micrometer. It means that we have here uh, from 0 to 9 is the IBS micrometer. I mean, from 0 to 10. Superimposed with uh, part or portion of uh, stage micrometer. Therefore, you can observe that we have 37 divisions of the stage micrometer is uh, superimposed with 77 divisions of uh, IBS micrometer. This means one, one division of IBS uh, is equal to 77 over, uh, over uh, 30, uh, seven, uh, 77 over over. 30 micrometers okay means that 30 300 micrometers equal to 77 divisions of the IBS micrometer you can uh, then calculate that each division of uh, IBS micrometer is equal to certain specified lengths. Then we can remove the uh, stage micrometer and inspect our elements and identify their lengths. Camera is also the another optical elements which enable the inspection of key microscopic elements at the same time you can see these elements and draw them on a side pole this way we can also determine 
the dimensions of these cube microscopic elements. We can, for example, we can draw a stage micrometer, which is uh, one millimeter lens, and we compare this lens with the characteristic key elements. Uh, leaf measurements, all the following measurements are uh, 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 made on the leaves. The first measurement made is the palisade ratio, which is defined as the average number of palisade cells underneath one epidermal cell. Uh, for example, it can be uh, measured for uh, this ratio can be performed on uh, for the upper palisade and lower. Uh, surfaces of the leaf. Quite fine powder should be used in this case. Uh, this measurement can differentiate between uh, different varieties of uh, some plants such as Bocco, Senna, and Peladon. For example, you have several forms of Bocco. Bocco, we have Porosma metiolina, Porosma metiolina, or Ceratifolia. If there are many forms or uh, varieties or subspecies of Senna and also Belladon. This can be differentiated by the use of a measurement of balanced ratio. Uh, stomatal number, the average number stomata per square millimeter of, this, uh, of the leaf surface. Uh, this uh, stomatal number should be uh, recorded for both surfaces of the leaf, the upper and lower uh, amendments. Here you have how to uh, calculate the balisade ratio. Uh, we we, we, we uh, determine the number of balisade cells which are the small and section the smaller uh, uh, circles underneath the uh, balisade cells. For example, here you can uh, observe that we have about 18 balisade cells underneath four epidermal cells. Then we can obtain uh, the balisade ratio. It is an average of several uh, determinations actually to reach to the uh, consistent value. We have to make 10 determinations to uh, reach to uh, consistent or reliable results. Somatal index, somatal excess percentage of somata bear epidermal cells. Percentage of somata bear epidermal cells. Uh, this somatal index actually more reliable indicator of the identity of the leaf or the uh, plant than the stomatal number because uh, it's not affected by the age of uh, the plant. Here this is the stomatal index equals uh, stomatal number multiplied by 100 and divided by a uh, number of the dermal cells plus the stomata. It can be determined for entire and powder samples. Vein islet number. Vein islets are uh, the minute area of photosynthetic tissue enclosed by ultimate division of the conducting strands. The number of these vein islets per square millimeter is called vein islet number. Uh, it should be calculated in four contiguous square millimeters in the central part of the lamina between the uh, uh, midrib and the margin. Uh, it can differentiate different uh, uh, or closely related plants such as Senna, Coca, and Digitalis. Vein determination number also also determination. Uh, which is the number of valid terminations 
or ultimate field determination or a valent or a branch of valent uh, per square millimeter. Uh, this also can distinguish, for example, between or, or uh, differentiate between uh, Peruvian and Bolivian coca, as well as uh, to differentiate between Alexandrian and Tinnibari uh, sin. Here they have the uh, demonstration for. Uh, determination of vein islet number uh, these are four contiguous millime millimeter squares we calculate the number of, of uh, vein islets in these four millimeters and then divide by four to uh, obtain the value of vein islet number this uh, this this way we we uh, if you make these methods or apply these methods then we can make proper identification of the plant the second important step is to make sure of the purity of the herbal drug it's free of adulteration of residues uh, of any contaminants which can be uh, harmful to the patient uh, and is very very linked to the safe use of the drug. Uh, also, the modern evaluation beauty evaluations involve the uh, absence of uh, mycotoxins, for example, microbial contaminants, radioactivity, pesticide residues, uh, and so on. Uh, we in this case we can use a chromatographic methods, as the layer chromatography gas chromatography or HB LC to guarantee the purity of herbal drugs. Foreign matter, foreign matter means uh, uh, it's very, uh, actually it's very difficult to have a herbal drug with total purity. The pharmacopoeia allow the presence of foreign matter a certain percentage. However, in case of presence of any appreciable amounts of Potent foreign matter, uh, this can uh, uh, represent a very strong reason for the rejection of uh, the herbal drug. Uh, the presence, for example, of uh, animal excreta and six mouths uh, and the in, in the herbal drug in any amount uh, uh, lead to rejection of the of the herbal drug in any percentage. Then we talk about moisture content. Moisture is very important to evaluate in herbal drug because uh, the purchase of a drug with allow with large number of uh, moisture, a uh, large percentage of moisture, such as for example uh, uh, non-organized drugs or so on. Uh, it's not, not economical because it, uh, uh, this way it, uh, a large amount of drug is not uh, is not valid. Also, the high percentage level may lead to the uh, 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 may lead to activation of the enzymes and also proliferation of living organisms such as bacteria and fungi and leads to the decomposition of the herbal drug. Large number exists for the uh, moisture determination. Include loss on drying, loss on drying, loss on weight. Uh, actually, loss on weight by heating, for example, at 100 degrees centigrade would lead to uh, loss of water, but also in some in instances, loss of volatile oil. This method is then is uh, uh, suitable or convenient for drugs such as uh, digitalis and amis, which contain no volatile oil. However, in case of balsams which contain volatile oil, this method is not accurate. In this case, we can make drying by spreading thin layers of the weight drug over glass plates or placing an desiccator over phosphorus oxide or use vacuum 
this location uh, at specified temperature. Following the installation method, in this case, we we we, we take a known amount or analyze known amount of the drug with water and uh, mix it with the uh, water immiscible salt, such as uh, toluene, xylene, or carbonic chloride, and they make distillation. Water uh, in the sample will co-distill with the uh, solvent, and it will uh, make or condense and form a separate band uh, or separate layer, which can be measured. Uh, uh, there are designs of this machine. This was, for example, for uh, using the toluene, which is uh, which is uh, lighter than water. Toluene will be returned to the flask, while this uh, water is heavier than toluene will uh, be collected in this uh, graduated tube and can be measured. If you use carbon chloride, then uh, another design present which allows the water to be maintained in the graduated tube while the heavier solvent will be returned into the flask. This method accounts for the presence of volatile oil because the volatile oil is present in this case. Uh, in this case, uh, it will dissolve in the organic solvent. Third method, use of gas chromatography method, very sensitive and specific method for moisture determination. Uh, first, we extract or exhaust the drug of its water content using or known amount of drug with water with the dry methanol to remove uh, the water and then take a liquid and make gas, uh, gas chromatography uh, estimation. Uh, polar stationary phase such as carbox on supports as follow back 80 or polar back or using of polyethylene glycol on different sex can be used to analyze the uh, moisture content. Chemical method, a very uh, extensively employed method in different fields such as pharmaceutical, food, chemical, and petrochemical industry. The assay is particularly accessible, accessible, ac applicable to uh, expensive drugs as well as drugs which contain small amount of small quantities of moisture uh, the powder drug is initially extracted with anhydrous solvents as the oxide and aliquots taken for titration carlifigure reagent reagent con consists of iodine sulfur dioxide pyridine and in dry methanol. Titration uh, using this reagent was placed in a flask and uh, or in its puret and the, the, the sample of the containing water of the plant in the flask. Titration continued until the yellow color of iodine persists, means that uh, no more water is present in the point. When no water is available, and the persistence of the color of the reagent. The basic reaction is that iodine will cause oxidation of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide in presence of water. Uh, the formed sulfur trioxide reacts with pyridine to form uh, pyridine sulfur trioxide, which in turn reacts with methanol to form. Uh, uh, breathing salt of methyl sulfate. Uh, the agent uh, needs to be standardized before use. 
because of the instability. This is one of the drawbacks of using this method. Uh, titration actually is carried out in the atmosphere of nitrogen to account for the presence of the, all the interference by atmospheric moisture. Uh, as we said before, the drawback of the Carl Fisher method is the uh, uh, instability of the reagent as well as the possibility that other substances uh, than water can react with the reagent, not only water but also other substances. This is one of the uh, problems or drawbacks of the use of this carlyphy furnace. The action involved are that the iodine can oxidize sulfur oxide in presence of water to form uh, hydroiodic acid and sulfur trioxide. Both of these products, uh, these uh, resulting uh, compounds react with pyridine to form either pyridine hydroiodide or pyridine sulfur trioxide. Pyridine sulfur trioxide reacts with methanol to form the pyridine salt of ethyl sulfate. Uh, it, then the, it, it can be concluded that one molecule of water is equal to one molecule of iodine. Better than that, we can determine the moisture content in the in the plant or herbal drug. Uh, also, one additional method for uh, moisture determination is the use of the spectroscopic methods. Uh, this is based upon uh, the, uh, the, the, the convenience of using UV and IR uh, regions to uh, measure the presence of water. Uh, here, in this case, the interfering substance must be absent. And this method, as is, is always known, spectroscopy and most uh, present a very, very sensitive way for estimation of uh, different uh, compounds and it can estimate or measure a very small amounts of water. NMR was used even as a very very unsensitive technique was used for estimation of moisture and starch and the cotton and other plant products. Ash value, the incineration or the ignition of vegetable drugs uh, leads to uh, formation of inorganic ash. Uh, this, uh, of the level of this ash can be sometimes variable, very variable and not uh, uh, used for, uh, to ensure the uh, identity of the plant. Uh, and sometimes it can be used as an indicator of the purity of the For example, in the case of rubber, the level is highly variable and it is not of very, very little significance. However, in case of licorice, uh, it can indicate or be used as an indicator of the purity of the herbal drug because it, it is present in a certain amount. Uh, this is called total ash. Total ash actually uh, and, uh, measures the presence of uh, silicate, carbonate, and phosphate. Uh, the incineration process should be taken or should be carried out uh, at temperature of 450 degrees centigrade, not more than that. Uh, because alkyl, alkali halides, alkali chlorides particularly, are volatile above this uh, temperature. Uh, if we made incineration at this temperature and there is still carbon, then the water soluble ash is removed and incineration is, or ignition is uh, uh, repeated. More consistent ash can be obtained. It's called sulfated ash. In this case, we treat the drug with 
dilute sulfuric acid before ignition this kills all the oxides will be converted into uh, sulfates which are not volatile uh, uh, not volatile and we can make ignition at 600 degrees centigrade this is called sulfate dash Acid insoluble ash, if the total ash was treated as dialed in HCl, the insoluble ash is called water insoluble ash. High uh, acid insoluble ash indicates contamination with earthy material, silica and silicates. Uh, some drugs contain actually uh, a small amount of uh, acid and sulfur ash, such as cinder, for example, 2.5%. However, some of them may contain high level of acid and sulfur ash, such as salmon, so which contain uh, about 12% of, uh, of uh, acid and sulfur ash due to the gritty or sticky, sticky uh, tycoons attract the grit of the dust particles because of its. Uh, uh, seconds. Sometimes we, we, we determine what's called as water soluble ash, as in case of a ginger. Ginger is required to contain uh, reasonable level of, of or a minimum of uh, water soluble ash because uh, very low level of both soluble ash means we have we, uh, this is that this is an exhausted drug or exhausted